All right, the next thing I want to do is to get the valves out of the engine. And to do that, I need to remove the springs and the retainer clip holding them in place. I'm going to use my uh, valve compression tool. And sometimes this is a little tricky, so I'm not going to bother videotaping it. Uh, the object is to put this in there, screw this till it squeezes a spring, release the retaining clip, remove the spring, and then remove the valve. So, I'll get back to you when I get this done. Alright, so we've got the valves out. And you'll see they're a little bit grungy looking. Especially the, uh, actually the intake valve. So, uh, we'll get these cleaned up on the wire wheel. And get those put back in place. Assuming that they're straight and uh, in good shape. All right, just on a side note, I want to demonstrate how these valves are held in place. There's three parts here. We've got the valve itself, the valve spring, and the retaining clip. And if you notice, the retaining clip has a like a keyhole shaped hole in it. The point of that is that the um, the valve on the end would slip through the large end and then slip in the middle and then the retaining clip is held in place so the spring would go on the valve when it's in the engine the valve the retaining clip will clip over that and then the pressure of the spring will actually hold the retaining clip in place so to install or remove the valves, you need to take the pressure off the spring so that you could slide that retaining clip out and off. And that is the whole purpose of this gadget, is to squeeze the springs. So, not always easy to do, but it needs to be done.